Sayyid Abdul Karim, Dr. Bomb or the much feared explosives expert Tunda. These are all different identities of the same man. A man who has been India's most wanted for over two decades. A man who ranks 15 on the 2611 dossier to Pakistan. A man responsible for 40 explosions in India. The chase to nab Abdul Karim Tunda has ended. The bomb expert, the terrorist, the mastermind of multiple massacres is now behind bars. For the past 20 years, India has been hunting for him. Abdul Karim Tunda, a human dossier for Pakistan, the link between Lashkar and the company is now in custody. All the skeletons are now tumbling out of the closet. Will his revelation lead India to doubt? And will his disclosure blow the lid off Pakistan cover? I think it's a big catch. Uh, this gentleman was involved in the train blasts in Mumbai, as well as the blasts in the religious places, 93. Then after that, he ran away to Bangladesh and then to Pakistan. And uh, he was also the mastermind of the blasts which took place in Delhi, uh, in Karol Bagh, Roshan Dihati, and UTC buses, 97-98. And uh, he was based uh, partly in Bangladesh, partly in Pakistan. And he used to be a motivator, a prime motivator, a planner. And he was one of their uh, experts in teaching recruits about manufacturing IEDs. And so he's a major catch. Uh, also into analysis, motivate the entire cycle, motivation, analysis, motivation, and training. Mm -hmm. And he was in touch with uh, Ajam Shima mm -hmm. and with Lakhvi, mm -hmm. working with them. But Tunda was not born into terror. He lived a normal life till he was in his 30s. Born in a nondescript house behind Darya Ganj's Delight Cinema. He acquired the moniker of Tunda much later after he lost his left hand when a bomb he was making exploded. His father ran a copper and aluminium melting business and his upbringing was ordinary. Soon after his birth in 1943, Tunda's family moved to Sherwali Gali in Ghaziabad's Pilkhuwa. As a teenager, he worked as a carpenter. He tried out several outings, from working as a salesman to a scrap dealer and finally a cloth merchant. This is the house in Pilakwa, which is around 50 kilometers away from Delhi, where India's one of the most wanted terrorists, Abdul Karim Tunda, lived his life till 1993. After that, he left the country. In 1994, his entire family too left the village. Ever since then, they never tried to contact any of the relatives. What is surprising is the fact that in spite of Tunda's frequent travels, none of the relatives or his family members ever doubted about his profession or the fact that he could be involved in terrorist activities. Just as an eye wash, he operated an homeopathic shop from the same house. But the transition came when riots rocked Mumbai's Bhiwandi area in March 1985. This was when he was initiated into terrorism by Pakistan's ISI. A man named Muhammad Amir Khan of Sadar Bazar in Delhi was his bomb-making guru. Actually, I think as far as Indian security apparatus is concerned for it, after 2008, this is the biggest achievement. And I must compliment firstly the Delhi police and the people who must have provided the intelligence for that. Now, as far as elite is concerned, don't look at it from the point of view of how important in the hierarchy is in the elite. He is one of the key persons whom the ISI selected when it decided after 9-11 that it will not be able to carry out terrorist operations on the mainland through its own people. 
uh, in India because there was a lot of international pressure. And therefore, an indigenous element has got to be created or some youth have to be subverted for breeding India. And Tunda was one of the most important operator in that chain. So his, the, after that he was connected with the LET, he was connected more importantly with the IM. The LET's operation of collaborating with the IM, he is one of the major architects of that. The scene now firmly shifted to Mumbai, where he befriended one Dr. Jalis Ansari. With him, Tunda started the Tanzim Isla ul Muslimin. In 1993, they engineered blasts in Mumbai and Hyderabad and set off seven blasts on trains. Tunda fled to Dhaka in 1994 and crossed over to Pakistan where he trained Indian jihadis in IED making. He returned to mastermind the 1996-98 blasts and fled to Pakistan again. The Tunda trail went cold in 2000 when sketchy reports of his death in a Bangladesh blast emerged. But the August 2005 arrest of Abdul Razak Masood, a Lashkar link man from Dubai, showed Tunda was in Lahore. नहीं यहाँ कभी हमारी कभी मुलाकात नहीं हुई हमारे मौसा से कभी कोई मुलाकात नहीं हुई नहीं कभी उनको सिर्फ देखा हमने कभी मुलाकात नहीं हुई हम क्यों मिलेंगे हमारे बाप ने छह साल की सजा काट के आए हैं वे सिर्फ रिश्तेदार होने रिश्तेदार होना कोई जुर्म है कोई हिंदुस्तान के अंदर जो हमारे पाप ने सजा काट के आए छह साल की आप उनकी साली हैं तो 1993 जब वो इंडिया छोड़ के चले गए अपने परिवार के साथ उसके पहले उनसे किस तरह की बातचीत उनका रवैया कैसा रहता था परिवार की तरफ परिवार की तरफ ऐसा रहता था भी खर्चा ही नहीं देते थे उनको परेशानी रखते थे बाहर जाते रहते थे कभी आ गए दो साल में एक साल में घूम बाहर ही जाते रहते थे तो वो क्या परिवार को समय नहीं देते थे आप लोग कभी पूछते थे कि वो बाहर कहाँ जाते हैं क्या काम करते हैं जो ये काम करने के लिए चले जाते थे लेकिन आते कहा जाके आते नहीं थे कितने कितने दिन एक ही साल नहीं आते थे कभी कई पाँच पाँच साल नहीं आते थे वो मजदूरी बच्चे छोटे छोटे उनके उन्होंने काम पे लगा दिए नहीं लिखाए पढ़ाई कुछ नहीं ऐसे खा ले इवन आफ्टर ही फ्लैट Tunda's operatives were spread all across India. Abdul Karim Tunda was absconding for a very long time and his name also figures in the list of 20 most wanted people which was given to Pakistan for extradition. So in that context, he is a very significant catch. He has been missing for a long time and uh, it's an uh, important catch for Delhi Police. We have certain intelligence inputs, we have certain information, we also have questioned him on these issues and the interrogation is in process. So we are looking into all aspects and then we'll be arriving at our own dis uh, conclusions in this regard. His Bangladeshi mentor Zakaria, who trained Tunda in bomb making in the 1980s and later became his father-in-law, helped him develop a network in Kolkata and Bangladesh. Abdul Karim Tunda's association with Bangladesh dates back to the early 80s when he first traveled to that country under the patronage of the ISI who got him trained in bomb making under the tutelage of a mysterious Bangladeshi called Jakaria. Tunda soon ended up marrying Jakaria's teenage daughter and with these contacts and with the wide network of human traffickers and illegal currency dealers that he was associated with, Tunda managed to set up terror modules in Kolkata. Indian authorities are now willing to permit Bangladeshi investigators come and jointly interrogate Tunda to bust the most wanted terrorist wide network in that country. In 2009, the Calcutta police arrested two of his henchmen who are said to have confessed their links with the 70-year-old master bomb maker. Abu Tahir, alias Muhammad Zakaria, who is believed to be Abdul Karim Tunda's father-in-law, is lodged in this Kolkata jail since March 2009. Tahir, along with other associates who were recruited by Tunda under the banner of Tanjini Muhammadi, a LET outfit in North Bengal, used to supply explosives, used to help the LET operatives and Tunda have safe passage from Bangladesh to India and run Tunda's FICN network. The Bengal police is now trying to find out more such missing links after Abdul Karim Tunda's arrest.
Then all the way in Kashmir, his son Abdul Waris, in his late 30s, was arrested in the year 2000 and was in jail for the next eight years. Even he is said to have fled to Pakistan after his release. Abdul Karim Tunda has a Kashmir connection as well. His son Waris was arrested in the year 2000 from Kashmir with a consignment. He was lodged in a local jail till 2008 when he was released, after which he fled back to Pakistan. At that time, no one in the security apparatus knew that he was Tunda's son as he was arrested under a different identity. One man, multiple identities and a large terror nexus. Abdul Karim Tunda's sinister strategy to spread terror had begun after his arrival in Pakistan. From here, he met the masterminds of global terror. The Lashkar, the ISI, D Company and Babar Khalsa International. Tunda was linked to them all.